Hello, hello everyone. Today's survival turned thrival tale is all about laundry. That's right, folks. We're moving back up in the undead post-apocalyptic world. I've got electricity back thanks to the power of fossil fuels. I have running water again thanks to rainwater, gravity, and garbage bags. So it's time to make one giant zomboid leap forward and combine water and electricity. There's supposed to be some air activity today, and I tried waiting it out at home and doing chores there, but I've got stuff to do and it's almost four in the afternoon. So here I am, back at the bookstore, again, because I realized I don't have the second volume of the electricity skill books. And I need an electrical skill of at least three before I could even think about picking up a washing machine. So hopefully the helicopter does not arrive while we are here because I don't know what kind it is. It just says air activity detected. So far there's a few here, but not too many. So let's clear these out. Uh, so far, not too bad. All in a day's work for Bo here. Let's go ahead and head on into the bookstore now. Anyway, back to what I was doing, stealing books. Electrician, volume two, yoink sound. All right, I got what I need. I grabbed a couple other books that I might need for my collection as well, and I'll see you guys when I get home. Nope, oh, hold on. I want to steal this duffel bag. I collect them to use them as shopping bags to haul stuff up to my apartment. Uh, let me in the door. Move over to the driver's side. Uh -huh. Oh, hold on. I think I actually hear it. I don't know what kind of helicopter it is, so I'm going to stand right here inside. Well, it doesn't shoot at me. Doesn't seem like it's shooting at anyone, possibly just passing through. Yeah, definitely just passing through. I think I'm safe. Well, it's directly over now. That's really going to stir them up quite a bit. Not as much as a raider chopper, though. Those are insane. There we go. It's gone now. Well, that's relief. I was worried it was going to be something absolutely horrible. wonder if we can see movement already. Nothing going on over there. Let me check up here. I love that you can still hear it off in the distance. Alright, anyone moving over here? I see two or three over there by the fence line. Definitely not as bad as I thought it would be, considering how it has been in the past around here. But it did move from a south-ish direction. Hopefully we won't have a whole lot of horde movement. Good morning, everyone. I spent the rest of the day reading well into the morning of day 51, and instead of messing up Bo's sleep schedule, I kept on reading other skill books for the entirety of day 50. 
And here we are on the morning of day 51, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, ready to plumb a washing machine today. Maybe. But while I eat my cold stir-fry fish breakfast, I will tell you guys my plan for today. First, we need to level up electricity from level 2 to 3, and with the skill book finished, I'll get lots of bonus XP when I dismantle things. Let me just grab some lunch here. And vegetables, we'll have those to go. And a pop. There we go. I packed a lunch. I'm ready for my day. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So I'll start by dismantling the last of the electronics I haven't gotten to yet on the bottom floors of this building. And then I'll head over to the electronics store I saw near the bookstore the other day. Just gonna take a quick look at my garden. With the recent level up from harvesting the tomatoes, I can now take a look at crops at a glance. I don't have to right click. I can even see the ones down on the floor below me. Can I see the ones over there? No, I cannot. Which makes sense. That's pretty neat though. Alright, I'm gonna head downstairs and see what's left in the building as far as TVs and radios and things like that that I can dismantle. I am a little concerned Make sure I lock my door. That there might be new residents in the building, because we already had a slight problem the past few days that I haven't taken care of. And with the helicopter event, I'm very concerned there might be new ones hiding in here, so I'll have to keep a sharp eye out. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely hearing some activity in here nearby. Very close by. There's one in this kitchen. I know there's more than one though, so... I'm gonna watch my back. Especially in these dark, tight spaces. It's only 6.40 in the morning, so they are still slow shamblers. But that's gonna change very soon here, so I don't have much time. Definitely hear someone. They're not- I don't think they're in this apartment, though. I'm gonna check. The bedroom. Nothing. Looks like I already got the TV in here anyway, so that's fine. Alright, let's take a look. Oh, there she is right there. Sitting down at the table getting ready for me to walk in as her meal. Not today, lady. Made it down to the ground floor. Oh, there's a couple in there. I'm gonna poke him so he'll follow me outside. I would much prefer to fight these guys out in the open outside. I'm not gonna lose this run 51 days in because I got cornered in a hallway by slow shamblers. Okay, I'm gonna do some shouting to see if I can get them out here. Probably not though because they're pretty dumb when they're slow shamblers. Since they're supposed to be more active during the day and it's technically not day yet. I was gonna head straight to the electronics store but I think I need to do some street sweeping here. Yeah, I cannot get them to leave the building even though I know there's at least a handful in there. And I ain't going in there in the dark so we're gonna do this the easy way. I might pull in a few more than I anticipate, but I don't think it'll be more than I can manage. I already see a couple someones from a direction I did not anticipate. They are still not leaving the building as far as I can tell though. That's alright. Take care of these ones and any others that come on in. I'll add them to my pile there on the street corner. Doing a better job to keep Murder Row cleaned up this time, rather than the bloodbath it was the first couple weeks here. Oh! Hold on. I think I definitely spy a Zamboni with a large backpack. Come over here, sir. Stay out of my road. Ooh, there's also a the hazmat suit zombie. I wonder if he's the one from near the gas station. Definitely gonna take that outfit for another scarecrow. So far I have my football player, I'm gonna have a hazmat scarecrow zombie, and I have the wedding veil, but I don't have a wedding dress to put on the zombie. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna do that one yet. I'm really excited about this backpack though, because I just have the big hiking bag. This will be a nice upgrade for Bo. I'm going to clear out the stragglers. 
honk a few more times, see who else I can lure out of the building. And I'm gonna switch over to the nice large backpack waiting there for me on the ground. And I'll keep you guys updated if anything interesting happens. It's been several hours and I've done a lot of street sweeping, but I still have not got the zombies inside the building to come out, so I'm just going in after them. Now where? I hear them, but where are they? Ah. Not again. Oh, what? No, stop! Okay. I kept clicking out of the window there when I got jump scared. I have no words. Remember how that happened last time and I turned on the setting to lock the cursor in the window? And then I hated it because it felt weird because the game was generating a cursor and it was. felt laggy. So I turned it off. Yeah, it just happened again. And you know what? I'm gonna roll with it. If I die like that, I die like that. Okay, crisis averted. I'm finally on my way to the electronics store. Let's see, where am I going to park in case I have to make an escape? Let's just turn around right here. And this seems like a great spot. Perfect. Luckily the streets are pretty empty. There's just a few hanging out here and there. Because I've done pretty well to keep this area pretty clear. See a couple over here. Check the inside of the shop real fast. Good. Alright, let's take care of this one. I don't like these one tile spaces between the buildings. Because I have seen conga lines of zombies come pouring out of them before. Got a couple from the fashion store. Seems they are a little behind with the times. Alright, no one behind me. We're good. Oh, I uh, don't know if you guys noticed, but it's getting to that time of year where I have to switch between his overalls and his shorts right now because the weather is fluctuating so much between the morning and him running around killing so many zombies. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore the ones over there. Hopefully they won't see me. I'm just going to mosey on in here and start dismantling all these computers. I see some TVs. I'm sure there's lots of stuff on these shelves I can dismantle too, but I'm going to check the back first make sure no one's back here. I hate that that door is just wide open. I'm gonna try to keep my back to the wall while I do this. I probably really should go check what's on the other side of that door but I really don't want to cause any problems or stir up any hordes in the street waiting over there so I'm just gonna it's gonna live a little dangerously right now. I'm not going to speed up time like I usually would because I want to be alert to what is happening. I don't hear any around me, so that's a good sign. Hey, we even got some scrap electronics from that. Okay, jumping ahead a bit here. I finished up in the back. We're starting on the computers in the front part of the shop. I really should close this door, so at least I only have the one in the front open over there. And I should be able to hear it open if someone opens it and comes right on in. So here we go. Okay, come on, this last one should do it. Perfect, alright, electricity level 3. I have more stuff here that I could dismantle, but I want to just get home and get that washer and dryer moved into my apartment. Alright, about two and a half boring hours of prep work later, I'm finally ready. I'm just going right downstairs to this one right below us. I've been eyeing these babies for a while now, so let's go ahead and pick them up. Let me make sure there's nothing in them. Okay. Ooh, I can turn it on. Interesting. I mean, that makes sense. They're plugged into the wall and they have power from here. Alright, here goes nothing. That sounds a lot like I'm dismantling them. I know I'm not, though. 
Every time I got one, I'm gonna stuff this in my backpack that I just got. Let's pick up the dryer now. I don't like that I can't turn around when I'm doing this. Hopefully there's nothing behind me, so... Oh, we're good, okay. Don't mind me, I just have an entire washer in my backpack and I'm carrying a dryer in my free hands. Lock the door, I don't think I'll be coming back down here tonight. So I realized on my way up here that I have no plan for where I'm actually going to put these in here. I won't go in the bathroom, definitely not gonna fit there. Uh, in the storage room? They'd still be close enough to the plumbing I already have. Yeah, that's, that's gonna have to be right here. Need to do some counting first though to make sure I got this right. Okay, I think I got this. Gonna place this one right here. Need to turn it. Come on. Okay, there we go. All right, hopefully I've got this right. I should. No pressure. Like water pressure. Perfect. Okay, now for the next one. Uh, that one's in the bag. Perfect. Unpack. Calbo manages to stuff an entire washer into his backpack. I guess we'll never know. It's unpacked. Place. Turn it. Now we just make sure this went in right. Then I need to grab the pipe wrench so I can plumb it. If I did my calculations correct, this should... Yeah, see. Okay, we can plumb it. Just need to grab the pipe wrench. It's over here in storage. Grab that. Come on back over here. Moment of truth. Plumbing it on the first try. Not bad. Had a lot of good luck this run. Alright, time to test it out. I am positive we have lots of dirty and or bloody clothes we can throw in here. Uh, probably in the washer. That would help. Not in a crate. Okay, here we go. Just gonna throw everything in that needs to be washed. Probably go find some around the house too. I gathered up everything I could find around the house, and we'll see how it does. Let's stand here and watch my wonderful washer work after 51 days without one. It's definitely not the most efficient way to wash your clothes in the game, because it takes so long for the wash cycle to run. But you know, if you're trying to live realistically and like kind of RP in the game, this is the way to do it. And we're here trying to make this house a home, so I like it. Most people definitely would not like to wash their clothes in a sink with no soap and just put them back on wet, so... And I think Bo here deserves a little R&R &R and some self-care time taking a bath in his tub. It's been about an hour now, give or take. I think we started about 7.40. I think it's gonna last like around an hour and a half, two hours. I'm just gonna have a little snack and watch my washer work. Also, I just realized how dark it is in this storage room, so I'm gonna go grab the lamp that I put down a long time ago. And I didn't have anywhere for it. At least until I can get a better lamp for in there. Just take this off my desk. Take this into the storage room. The bow doesn't have to sit in the dark anymore. I'm just gonna put it right here. I know there's a light switch in here somewhere, but I think it's buried behind one of the crates and I don't feel like finding it, so... There we go! Now he doesn't have to watch his washer in the dark. Alright, 9-10. They are finally done. I've been doing some reading and other household chores. I'm gonna pick them all up. Come on, there we go. Toss them in the dryer. I need to be over here. It's hard to select them with all the crates, so I'm just gonna loot them out of there. Nope, oh, god damn it, started the wash. Loot all. Come on over here. Put them in the dryer. Oh, 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 hold on, I think I put my pipe wrench in there. And a soda can. Let's not do that. Alright, start the dryer. 
put the pipe wrench away before I forget. That's not the right container, this one. Okay, now I'm gonna go finish up some reading, probably go to bed soon. Turn off my light. That's it's more expensive than just paying for power now. I noticed that the bulbs in my lamps were out, so I replaced them with a red and green bulb, which are kind of conflicting with each other. So let me go ahead and just put my book away, have a little nightly ritual here, and I'll turn off the lamps one at a time so you can see the red and green colors. It's pretty neat. Okay. Ooh, spooky red. Ooh, spooky green. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. I'll see you in the next one. This is Genuine Toad, and I'm happy to have you here.